Good day everyone. Today I'm going to reply to a movie made by a woman named Catherine Saint Germain. She made a movie which went viral, so maybe that's one of the reasons I'm looking at it. Uh, but she made a movie about how she had something happen in her family that she had never expected. And I have to admit that I do think this is a brave woman. I'm not sure if I could stay as level-headed as she is in this movie. But then again, maybe this is why she chose not to speak. I'm going to show the movie in full and then I'm going to reply. I'll not cut through it. Um, but I am going to show it in full. There are some things I need to uh, address because me being me. But even though I feel the need to address something of her movie, I first want to clearly state to everyone that's listening. One too many. Yeah, this is a strong message, and I have to admit that the way she presented it is, to me at least, 
very powerful because what she is saying in a way is true for all of us you do not expect your partner to bring harm to you or your child this is however not reality because in reality most victims of sexual abuse know their attacker and this is something we need to be aware of and and not in the feminist bullshit rhetoric way of all oh, men are rapists no but but this is still even though they are making it a farce this is still a serious issue now of course i'm going to fall over the one in five thingy from the movie because the one in five thingy is bullshit it's not true according to rain on average there are 300,000 abuse victims sexual abuse victims each year that's nowhere near one in five but it's still 300,000 so it's still too many I'm not sure why the one in five number keeps popping up I don't get it. It, it it takes away from the issue because the main reason I felt that I had to respond was because of that one in five thing. Um, and then I started thinking about it and I thought, no, <laughs> the one in five thing isn't the real reason to respond to it. Because of the one in five thing, though, we don't take it serious anymore. I mean, even if less than 1% is actually a victim, it's still a victim. It's still a huge issue. One is too many for sexual assault. Can we completely eradicate it? Mm, probably not. But the question is not whether we can. The, the question is whether we should try. And I 100% think that our goal should be to try to eradicate sexual assault especially of children but but of everyone but especially of children children look to us for support for safety this is um i'm not sure if i could stay as level head well bullshit i know i could not stay as level headed as she was i would probably become a vigilante in this case and i'm not advocating that people should hell i'm not saying that i should but it would be very difficult for me not to i won't lie the thing is everything she says except for the one in five bit is true you don't expect your spouse to mistreat your children you don't expect your a spouse to mistreat you and the thing is, it's not only spouses. I mean, it could be an uncle or whatever. So, when our kids talk about this, we should take it serious. I'm not saying we should believe them, but we should take it serious. I mean, i rather have my child caught on a lie than assuming they're lying when it's true. And that's even when it's not about sexual assault. But sexual assault, honestly, I can't think of anything more heinous. Well, yeah, killing the kid. But maybe that's a close second. I don't know. Anyway, I had to debunk the one in five thing. I did debunk the one in five thing. Please, stop with the one in five thing. Because it's almost as if you're diminishing the true problem. The true problem is one too many and I, I really hope we can get people to stop sexual assaulting anyone easier said than done though I know but still thank you for your time comments as usually are welcomed and um, try to have a good day <laughs>